אלא? Where's everybody at? Hey, there's Kitten Bill Brick. <laughs> you, hey, they can see your mouth moving. There's Kitten Bill Brick. MML! MML! Shouting out them coin people. Send me some coins. I need it to... I can look at coins and drink moonshine at the same time. Then I wouldn't care which coins you sent me. Because I'd be too drunk to care. Kitten Bill. How do you jump in here? I don't know how you do that. Put a drumstick in its mouth? <laughs> in JT's mouth? I don't have a drumstick. And do you mean chickens drumstick? Or do you mean uh, drums like drum set? Hello, Lori. I don't know which. And this is unplanned. I just decided to do this. I was sitting there and thought, you know what? I need to go live. So there you go. I've been watching a couple of lives the last couple of days. Uh, Drifter Thrifters was in one with Emily Conway. And, oh, a turkey leg. I ain't got one of them yet. I don't get one of them until next Thursday. And I don't like dark meat. I like the white meat of a turkey. <clears throat> there you go. MML, I know you're going to have a comment on that. I just decided to go live, Journey. Welcome. I just was sitting there and watching the news, and I thought, you know what? I ain't gone live in a while, and I've been watching lives the last couple of nights. So I just figured, what the heck? I ain't even had dinner yet, Kittenville, so I'll figure that out in a few minutes. Last night, I had taquitos and picante sauce. <laughs> the night before, I had just gr grilled chicken seasoned with uh, queso. The life of somebody that lives alone, right? Hey, Out Country Sales. Hey, thanks for coming in. You, uh, thanks for subscribing. And I subscribed to your channel as well. Um, and I'll check out your stuff. I haven't checked it out yet. But um, MML, I think you probably onto something last night about those subscribers. I gained five or six subscribers, and then I lost five but an hour later. And I don't know if that's a purge that YouTube does or what. But I just started thinking, man, they, they subscribed and they unsubscribed? I know my show ain't that bad. But. Anyway, and uh, Out Country Sales, again, thanks for subscribing, and I did subscribe. I believe in taking care of the channels that take care of me, and I know some of the bigger channels occasionally have mentioned me, usually when I buy something. Uh, Kevin Commonwealth Pickers has done probably more for my channel as far as mentioning me. Of course, I buy from him, too, and um, my buddies at Mountain Mountain Link and uh, Drifter Thrifters have mentioned me in their channels, so I appreciate that. Just a purge. Okay. All right. I don't know how often they do a purge, but every time I think I'm getting somewhere in my channel, I've been doing this for about nine months, and I keep thinking, all right, something, something's not right here. Why do I lose subscribers? So, um, And sometimes maybe it's not their content. I mean, mine's pretty transparent. I tell what I buy, where I get it, how much I pay for it, my profits, and discuss bad days and good days, and Right now, sales are slow, so sell that Redskins jacket. Yeah, you know, I heard somebody talking about that today. I checked out some guy. I had to take my mom. Uh, Hello, Thrifting the Three Rivers. I was with you last night in a fun trivia thing. That was cool. Um, anyway, MML, I uh, had to take my mom to the doctor. She was bathing her dog, and my mom's 78, and she slipped and hit her side. Thought she had broken ribs, and... Uh, so I was watching some guy, Rockstar Flipper, I think's his name. And he's not really about eBay reselling. He's about making money. And anyway, he's got a lot more subscribers than I do. But he uh, he was saying something about you can't sell that kind of stuff on eBay anymore. And I'm thinking, well, I got one on there. Um, again, there's a lot of stuff you can't sell on eBay anymore, including coins, which is kind of crazy. But um, I appreciate y'all joining. I guess. Those of you who just joined, I did not have this planned. I just said, you know what? 
Uh, yeah, she's okay. She's just bruised. She didn't have any cracked ribs or anything, Lori. Thanks for asking. She's just, uh, she coughs because my mom still smokes. And when she was 65, she had a massive heart attack and had triple bypass and was in ICU for two weeks. And we didn't think she was going to make it. And I'm the oldest of four boys, as you know. And uh, everything was on me. And one day it was like, you better start making plans. And then it was, oh, because she's doing better. And But she's, she's lived another 13 years, but she still smokes. And I get on to her all the time about it. And she coughs constantly. And she's on oxygen uh, sometimes. So it's, you can't, I've never smoked in my life. So I, don't, I can't say I understand smokers. But, man, uh, it's not a good thing. I can tell you that. And uh, for being somebody that's got some extra pounds on him, uh, that's probably the only thing saving my life is that I haven't uh, ever smoked and I don't drink much, except when MML says me shine. <laughs> uh, she should have a cat. Yeah, I know. You can't give a cat a bath. Uh, or at least she, uh, my youngest daughter, we used to have one and she got scratched really hard trying to give a cat a bath. Um but, uh, yeah, I was on uh, Nana Tink Treasures uh, live last night, and so was uh, Thrifting the Three Rivers, and we got a, uh, uh, got a, uh, had a fun trivia thing. That was pretty cool. I guess they do that every week. And Victoria and some of the other people that were in there. And that was kind of fun. And uh, Nate joined us. And then I was on one the night before with Emily Conway. And, uh, uh, Drifter Thrifters was being interviewed and he said some really good stuff uh, about my channel and I appreciate that. We're all small channels, but the ones that support me, I'm going to support and the ones that don't, I won't. I do, don't mean I won't watch you, but um, I'm not going to talk a lot about you because, uh, you know, you should all help each other out and we all have something to add and we all have different knowledge in different areas, our expertise and I just comp everything. That's how I learn. I know a lot about jerseys and ball caps and everything else I'm learning. Uh, Mary Kay. I learned a lot about Mary Kay and doll clothes. Right, Man Mountain Link? <laughs> Drool, but worthwhile. Yeah. Yeah, my daughter that lives just around the block, Aiden's my grandson. They have three cats. So, yeah, they like cats. Of course, they like dogs, too. And then my middle daughter has a pig plus five dogs and three cats. So, there you go. There you go, MML. You're going to do a cross stitch? Huh. Kittenville's doing cross stitch. There you go. Well, that's a new one on me. Um, if y'all got any questions or want me to help you with anything or can give me some tips. Uh, y'all saw my video. If you watched this morning on what I sold the day, yes, the day before I had a horrible day. And then yesterday, I had a, a better day, but, uh, and I've got a decent day going today. Um, I think a lot of it's economy, the election, the, the worry about COVID and the fact that, uh, uh, yeah, my daughter wouldn't like that MML. She, she don't even think of that, that pig is bacon. Um, but you're right. I love bacon, but I ain't thinking about that with her. She'd be mad. Um, anyway, yeah, I, uh, I think a lot of it has to do with, you know, if we lock down again, and I hope not, but I think we will. Um, if we're not getting, if they're not getting stimulus money and people aren't working, then it's going to be tough. I've been reselling since 04 part time. And since you don't know my story and most of the people in the room do, um, I worked for in the trucking industry for 35 years, mostly in management. I started as a driver when I got out of the Navy and then uh, my last 20 was with Overnight Transportation out of Richmond, Virginia. And then when 2005, I was a manager in Phoenix, terminal manager. And they bought us. And I moved to Oklahoma in sales. And I spent my last, from 05 to two, two and a half years ago in sales. And they offered early outs at UPS. And I was in the freight division, the tractor trailer division of UPS. And I retired and I grow a pension, so I don't have to do this. I do it because I like doing it. So I was part-time for about a year. I did nothing but watch Dr. Phil and let's make a deal and price is right. And then I went on keto and lost about 60 pounds. And I decided I was going full-time. 
So since May of last year, I've been full time. Um, I made around thirty thousand last year, uh, more than I wanted to. And um, this year, I'm on track to make probably eighty, eighty five thousand, maybe a hundred. Just depends on how the next month and a half goes. But um, I think I'm around sixty five or seventy thousand now in sales. But I do it full time, and as you, if you do this, you know that. It is full-time work, even if you say you're part-time. All the people, I love the people say they're part-time. <laughs> it's full-time work. I don't know how you could do this part-time and have, well, to have the listings that I have, 3,500 plus, you're not, you're not going to do that part-time. You got to be full-time to do that. And uh, I get up at 6, 6.30 in the morning, and a lot of times I don't go to bed at 11.30 at night. Now, I don't do this constantly but I do spend a pretty good portion of my day. And there was a while there I was working 15 hour days doing this. Um, but as y'all know, to do it, you got to go out and find it. And that part I enjoy. Then you got to research it again after you researched it, wherever you were, then you got to list it, take pictures and all that, and then uh, inventory it. <laughs> and then when you sell it, you got to find it, ship it and deal with it afterwards. And I track all my shipments. I ship very fast. Matter of fact, I'll ship same day if you buy it in the morning early enough. And uh, I ship every single day, including Saturdays. I believe in customer service 100%. And I don't just say it, I live it. So those people, and I know there's some channels where they don't ship every day. Shame on them. They should be shipping every day. You're competing with Amazon and other people and a lot of other resellers. And you need to, uh, you need to ship fast. And I get a lot of positive feedback from shipping fast. How long have you been an assistant missile polisher in the Navy? I was a radioman, a radioman, communications there, MML. I get, um, I think I have 50,000 or 100,000. I get, I mean, I have the prime store, so I have, um, you're supposed to get 1,000 and, and uh, 500 uh, auction, but now they're giving away like 100,000 or something, and I will never touch that. I mean, I don't list that much. I've listed 35 in the last two days. There's weeks I'll list 100, and then during the ice storm a few weeks ago, I didn't let it list anything all week because I was busy cleaning up from that major ice storm. It's the worst ice storm in Oklahoma, this part of Oklahoma's ever had. Adventures with Victoria. Welcome to the channel. I appreciate you, and I appreciate last night. I had a, I had a good time. I thought that was fun, um, except y'all didn't spend the will on my name. But uh, thanks for subscribing, and I did subscribe to your channel as well. Um, I... Uh, have been telling people about where I started and started in 04 part-time and I went full-time a couple of years ago when I retired from UPS. So unlike a lot of resellers, I do draw a pension from UPS for the rest of my life. Hopefully that's a while. And, um, and I do this full-time seven days a week and I ship every day except Sunday. So, um, anyway, but yeah, yeah, I enjoyed that last night. That was fun. I've never been on that channel. Uh, and I've, I mean, I know uh, Nana Tink Treasures because she subscribed to me and I didn't know she had a channel. And then I was subscribed to her as well and several other people that were in the room. Couldn't figure out why my subscribers disappeared about an hour after I got them. And I guess that's just a purge by YouTube. And it just happened to coincide with me getting a bunch of new ones. So I've been doing the YouTube for about nine months and it's sometimes a little frustrating on the growth because I feel like I should be further up the chain. and. I know even if you get to a thousand, it's not going to be a situation where you're going to make any money at it. But I just like teaching and telling. And some of my videos are eBay 101. Some of them are um, just, I mean, most of them are just me and JT having fun, as you've probably seen. And um, I'm very transparent, uh, kind of like Harry Tornado. Well, you know, I'm not near as big as he is. And um, don't get a lot of shout outs from the big channels, obviously, unless you buy something from them. Uh, and I have bought from a lot of them. Kevin, like I said, Commonwealth Pickers probably helped my channel the most. But um, I'm transparent. What I buy, where I get it, uh, what I sell it for, and how much profit I make off of it. And I think right now, like I said earlier, I'm probably going to get about 80, 85,000 sales this year. So a little scary because <laughs> we got to have write-offs. And I do have some, but man, man. And uh I do draw a pension, as a, like I said, from UPS. And I can draw Social Security in April when I turn 62. But I've decided to hold off because as if I make this kind of money next year, I'm going to be in a situation where they're going to take away from the Social Security. So 
I'll hold out a little bit longer. Um, we'll see how that goes. And then I do draw VA, uh, not any pay, but I get VA uh, benefits because I am ex-Navy and served in the Navy from 78 to 82. By the way, um, since I don't know y'all that well, our out country sales and Victoria, where do y'all live? What part of the country? Are y'all still with me? All right, I guess I'll start. I grew, I was born in Kansas, grew up in Central Texas, Austin, Texas, and uh, consider myself Texan, but I do live in Oklahoma. Yukon, to be exact, home of Garth Brooks. I'm sure y'all have heard of him. And uh, we have a water tower to prove it. Home of Garth, and the street, Garth Brooks. You live in Florida, okay. I hope not Tampa, where you have to compete with uh, Rally Roots and some of them other pickers down there. Uh, I went to boot camp in Florida, in Orlando. How about you, out country sales? Where do you live? What part of the country? I know MML's in Tennessee. Journey's from Florida, but she lives in uh, Georgia. YouTube reseller channels that do get more. You know, I've asked, um, I've asked Nurse Flipper. Uh, of course, she hasn't had me on, but she's, I mean, she's not a huge channel, but um, yeah, you know, I've thought about it with Cincinnati Picker and uh, Lonnie don't do those. Um, Tesla Picker, of course, Lonnie helped Tesla Picker really get off the map. Um, no, I haven't, and I probably should. Um, I'm willing to go on anybody's channel, and I've tried to get my buddy Drifter Thrifter to come on mine. Um, but, uh, and yeah, Crinker Nation, by the way, that HP calculator, if y'all see my video today, Crinker just joined and he's the one that sold me that calculator at a yard sale and he picks, but he doesn't sell a lot on eBay. So, um, and I don't have a new shed. My nephew moved back to Texas and he was going to build it for me at a lot lower cost. So I decided not to do that, uh, to do the uh, shed this year. So I bought a new computer and a GoPro eight and I'll probably buy some other stuff to not only have the new stuff, but before the end of the year, we get the tax write offs. Hey, dig it, Mark, dig it, Mark. Y'all, he joined me uh, just now and he is in England in the UK and he has a channel and digger den Tyson Fury, uh, MML watches them and they um, have metal detecting channels in the UK. You need to check them out. They um, uh, they go out and, and search the beaches. And I think, dig it, aren't you going to the, didn't you go to the beach today? And I hope you found some good stuff. But they find a lot of good relics over there because they find, you know, medieval era stuff. They find World War II stuff. And um, they find some really good stuff. And, and Digger Dan, Tyson Fury, and Dig It Mark Metal Detecting. Uh, check out their YouTube channel if you like metal detecting. They, uh, they go out and find thimbles, uh, silver thimbles. And uh, I don't understand the, the bag thing, the bag, the lead bag things, but they find those. And then they find uh, medals from World War II and, and Roman stuff because, you know, Rome at one time uh, controlled England. And uh, anyway, uh, let's see. I'm trying to keep up with everything. He bought it at Goodwill and Mustang. Oh, wow. You shouldn't have sold that then. I know you paid more than a dollar for it. Have you ever thought of being interviewed? Okay, when it goes back to 1,000 listings, consider upgrading your store for more exposure. 2,500 listings. Wow. Yeah, it might help my fees, MML. I'd have to run some numbers on that one. But, I mean, I got 3,500, but I feel like I should have more sales for, for what I do. But um, I do price things a little high and then come down. So. 236. Okay. So you didn't take too much of a hit. Nephew sheds are inferior sheds. Well, he's a, he's a builder. So he would have done it for me for 6,500 with everything, air conditioning, insulation, electrical, electrical and all that. And you are going to touch a, a 14 by 14 for that price. Uh, I did comp somebody else out uh, to do it. This my neighbor's building a garage and, and he said he would do it for 10, five. And I thought, yeah, I might do that, but, you know, I just don't know how long I'm going to stay as hard at it as I am, because right now, like I said, it's seven days a week, and I don't know if I want to stay that strong and hard at it. 
Um, I do have a death pile. Those of you that don't know me, I have a death pile that would choke a horse. And my problem is that I keep sourcing and I don't keep up with the listing. Um, I do list a lot. Like I said, some weeks I'll do a hundred listings. Um, but I still continue to source and I did source today. I found some wrestling t-shirts and a ball glove yesterday at an estate sale. I bought one thing and it was a Kermit the frog plush. And I've had really good luck with plush lately. If you go back and watch some of my channels, Hey Casey, how are you? And, um, I've sold a, a Sonic Boom Tails, which is similar to the Sonic, plush the other day for $70 off of a 26 cent buy, bought a bag of plush, and uh, for $26, I believe, a whole bag, 94 of them. The Plants vs. Zombies, I sold within a couple of days for $62 per, like, seven to ten pieces of that plush, and these were older pieces, and then some uh, Angry Birds and stuff like that. I've made probably $370 off that bag. And I still have some of it left. Um, so I look for that kind of stuff. But anyway, this frog was at an estate sale. They wanted $4 for it. It is a Kermit. And I like Kermit the Frog. And it's made by Jim Henson. But it's 1979. And when I comped it at the estate sale, it was 20 bucks, is what the sold comps were. So I thought $4. I don't know. If it don't sell, I can just keep it and put it like you can see behind me. A bunch of plush back there. Alf and some other stuff. And um, when I got it home, they have numbers on them, like 850-954 on the tag. Well, this one is worth $105, not, not 20 So I do have it on eBay. I listed it yesterday. And I had a watcher this just a little while ago for 105 So I shot them out a quick $99 offer, and I'm waiting to see if they take it. But likely that thing will sell pretty quick. Um, they do sell, so. Hey, I'll take four dollars into ninety-nine, just like a dollar into one hundred and sixty-five. Yeah, I'll take that. Those are the buys. Those are the home runs I like, and that's kind of what keeps me. It's like gambling. When you hit the hit the jackpot, you go, man, I gotta go get some more. I gotta get some more instead of working this death pile that I need to be working. And those of you who know me, I probably have six hundred video games waiting to clean and list. And I just bought a machine a while back, and I still haven't opened the box. <laughs> so. <laughs> That's my problem is I get overwhelmed with the stuff I buy and I can't keep up with it. I got Hot Wheels coming out my ears and uh, I got all the clothes listed and stuff like that. But I sell everything. Um, and again, I know a lot about jerseys, sports jerseys. I know a lot about ball caps and I don't just sell ball caps. That's why the name's misleading. And that may hurt my channel as well because people think, well, he just sells caps. No, I, caps are, I probably have 500 out of my 3,500 ball caps. But it ain't, uh, it ain't just what I sell. I sell a lot of stuff. And Mary Kay Makeup, I've, and those of you that watch my channel know this, I found three different bundles of Mary Kay Makeup in the last few months at yard sales. And I've made over almost $800 off of $145 between the three bundle deals that I did. And I still have a good portion of it left. Moisturizers and foundations, I pick up. Now, lipsticks and... Eyebrow pencils, those have a little bit of value too, but Mary Kay is big. And the spoons, oh yeah, thanks for asking about that, Laurie. I um, I bought a bunch of spoons at an estate sale, and I've only listed a few of them, and I've sold one spoon. And none of them are sterling or anything, but they're all from Australia and New Zealand and uh, Canada and the U.S. And, and I've got them, I just haven't got to them. Because when you buy the bundle deals of Hot Wheels and Pokemon cards or baseball you got to go through each one and that takes time and that's what's killing me. So yeah, I do, I do well in sales. Uh, although here in the last couple of weeks, it's really declined and I know it's everything going on around us not to get into politics or COVID, but we know what's going on and people are worried and Christmas is coming. And I know there's a lot of stress and, um, uh, again, I have a pension, so I don't have to worry about it, but, um, I do, uh, I do worry that, you know, people's sales are slow and you just got to send offers. And I've been having a lot of success with offers where I normally would get one out of 10 people to buy it on my offers. And now I'm, I'm getting a lot more success than that. Probably three or four out of the 10 are buying. Um, and then the same with uh, running your sales. And I have at least two or three sales going right now, uh, anywhere from 10 to 15%. And then of course I do discount. I just go into my store and just start 
reducing prices on some of the higher ticket items. A lot of the vintage single stitch T-shirts that I have, um, you know, things I paid a dollar for and I've got listed for 45 concert T-shirts and I'm dropping the prices because I started really high and I'm trying to come down. So, you know, you just got to play with it and it's always a constant, you know, you got to work your product and, and try to get people to bite. And it's like fishing. You got to try different baits if you want to want to get people to buy. So um, send them to Drifter Thrifters. Well, that costs an arm and a leg to get those out to Australia. And uh, y'all check out, those of you that have it, Drifters Thrift. I mean, Mad Mountain Link's got a channel as well. But check out Drifter Thrifters and tell him the cat guy sent you, if you would. He's in Australia, and he is a, re he's a reseller, too. He sell Him and his wife, Carm, sell on Depop mostly. But he's gotten back into eBay. And, uh, and, uh, he, uh, he, uh, does, uh, Frisbee golf and stuff like that. And, uh, he's a good guy. So just, uh, cleaning out the chicken coop. Really? Did he really man, Matt Link? Or are you just messing with me? Uh, no, I haven't done Macari. The only other uh, site that I've tried other than Facebook marketplace is, um, Poshmark. I tried to sell a coach and a, Prada purse on there, and I and because I was new, I got a lot of scammers. You know, send me your information in Gmail and all that. And I don't fall for that stuff. And uh, so I pulled them off, put them on eBay. The coach got pulled down. They said it wasn't real, but the Prada I sold, and it had defects. So, and I found those at the Goodwill bins. And by the way, for those I source yard sales, estate sales, Goodwills. Although I think Goodwills a little crazy right now with their prices, and and I do find good stuff there, but I think they're getting away from being a non-profit and more into a we get it free we're going to jack it up to ebay prices too and I'm not trying to sound sour but that's let's just face it that's what they're doing and um and then um the goodwill bins although i haven't been to the goodwill bins in months and then i go to a lot of mom and pop type stuff and i have a few people that do storage clean that call me and and we go over there and look through that stuff but i look for old video games i look for vintage t-shirts and things and vintage ball caps, K products, and the snaps. If y'all don't know about those, or, or uh, Louisville manufacturing and the snaps of the old ball caps, especially if they have the three stripes on the sides, those are pretty valuable. Um, you definitely want to look at those. And then, of course, the HP calculators. I found three of those this summer and made good money on all, for all of them. Everybody looks for the TI 84s, look for the HPs. Those are the ones you need to be looking for. I mean, don't you look for the TI 84s too? They're good, but they're not near as good as the HPs. Or another one is Cambridge, the handheld Cambridge. I've only found one of those, and those are pretty good. Um, crazy Ozzy, yeah. I don't know. He's not too crazy. Uh, although the food they eat, sugar beets and stuff, I don't know. They eat a lot of funny foods. But sounds like you need to hire and train someone to list for you, at least someone to take the photos and put them in folders for you to make the listings. You know, and I've listened to, uh, who is it, Rally Roots that pays somebody to do their photos? But you got to take the photos and send it to them. And then they, I'm like, no, nah, I'm not paying you a portion of that. I can list pretty quickly with my phone. Um, that part's not hard. It's just when I bring it in, you got to sit down and you got to go through it. You got to clean it up. You got to research it again because even though you may have comped it at a sale, you got to really get dig down into it. Just like that plush yesterday. I looked at him at the sale and I saw 20 bucks. I get at home and do a little more research and realize he's worth over 100. Um, you got to do that diligence and then you set him up and take pictures. I can list 25 and I don't know, an hour and a half easy, um, depending on what it is, video games, even more, but, um, it's not that it's just, you got to get it next to you, get it ready, start listing, then go put it away. And then, you know, I, I've just created a death pile that's put me behind. And occasionally I'll have a yard sale and clean it out, especially the stuff I find at the bins because it's cheap. Our bins are 69 cents a pound for hard goods, including DVDs and CDs and games and pots and pans and glassware and trinkets and stuff, purses. Shoes are like a couple of bucks a piece, two, between two and three. And books are 59 and 90, uh, 79 cents a piece, uh, soft back, hard back. And then uh, clothing is 169 a pound until you get to 25 pounds and it drops to like 99 cents a pound. But I'm trying to not do as much clothing unless it's vintage. Um, but I say that, and then I go out and buy a bunch of stuff. I bought three wrestling shirts today at uh, Goodwill. 
for three thirty three apiece. And oh, that's a Carhartt. That's for me. And some of these, some people will recognize. I don't know the wrestlers because I don't watch it. But this is from two thousand and two, and I paid three thirty three for that. And I did take pictures. I found that Google. If you, those of you don't do Google pictures, those are better than eBay by far because they really find some good find the stuff. Um, this one I found. And these are all 2XLs, I believe. And then this last one. And these are all from around 2002. And some probably have more value than others. I don't know. I mean, I did kind of briefly. And these aren't remakes. These are all from 2002. And then a ball glove, a Wilson. This is a right hand glove, left hand throw. It's worth about 45. I gave three. Three ninety three, and then I picked up one video game, not worth a ton of money, but let's see if I can get the right angle there. And I think that's all I got today: a Carhartt T-shirt for me, and uh, you got a Man Mountain Link shirt. Did, you know, Man Mountain Link tells me that he didn't wrestle like WWE or WWF, whatever. I don't even know the difference. Back when I was a kid, the wrestlers were. It was just wrestling on TV and Von Erichs and uh, Ivan Poonsky and Andre the Giant and all those guys. That was even before Hulk Hogan. And I think MML wrestled. I don't know why, but I, I had this feeling that he wrestled somewhere. Uh, hard to work employee in an eBay setup recently. Yeah. Oh, he's bigger than me, huh? Resale Rabbit. I've never watched him, so I don't know. Probably true MML. You got a great Mountain Link shirt. Um, I will spend all day once in a week and thrifting and then pick a town with a Walmart and thrift it. Oh, wow. That's a good deal there, Creaker. That's a good deal. Um, for you new people in my channel, uh, Victoria and, uh, outer sales, what, uh, what, what kind of channels do you, I mean, not channels, but, um, what kind of numbers do y'all run? Do y'all run on different platforms or just eBay? I just sell on eBay and a little bit on Marketplace if it's really big. I don't do uh, – and I ship almost all US SPS, even though I'm retired, UPS. And um, I do once in a while ship uh, UPS or FedEx ground, but I don't like to ship FedEx because I'm retired UPS. That's not that's not a good thing. But, hey, it's all about money now. It's not about, about uh, who I work for because back then I competed with them. I was in sales, so – I competed against them. In the trucking side, there was a lot more competitors than just FedEx and, and the post office. So, um, anything else anyone wants to know? Most of you know me because you've been watching my channel for nine months, and I appreciate it as always. Again, I didn't uh, I didn't plan on this live. I just decided to go do it and see. Uh, Mainly eBay, but mainly working on my channel. Just started designing shirts for merch by Amazon. Yeah, and I haven't tried Amazon. I've thought about it. I know a lot of people that go to the bins pick up books and sell on there. But I've talked to them, and it doesn't seem like the, the profit on books is that much. The only big profit I've made off books were Western books that were autographed by the author, uh, first editions, and Bibles. I've sold some Bibles for some pretty good money. Uh, that big Papa Bump shirt. Is worth between 30 to 50. Really? Ah, and they're all from O2, so I know they're old, and that's the only reason I picked them up. I don't watch wrestling. It's all fake. Oh, I hope I didn't offend MML. Um, yeah, and, and you always talk about pirate ship. I tried it one time, and it was cheaper to go USPS, and it would have gone through USPS anyway, so I've only done one comparison. I know Lonnie uses them a lot um, and other people, but uh, I haven't you know, again, if it's a couple of bucks, I'm not going to go to another site and try to figure it out. But, uh, yeah, and I've got – here's my watch hours. I've got – last I checked, I had 2.6 thousand. So, I'm still 1,400 away. The biggest thing is the subs. I'm still uh, 580-something away. So, I think I got 412. And it, it's just – I thought it would take off a little bit faster, but it's been nine months and I think I should have grown. Harry Tornado's up to 75,000 and he ain't been doing it much longer than I have, but 
he does join a lot of other channels and talk to other channels and interview them and pilots and all that stuff. I mean, most of these people are a lot younger than me. So um, not that I don't work as much as they do. I, pl I promise you I do, but um, I try to spend most of my time on my business. I don't think any of them have 3,500 listings. Matter of fact, the only channels that I know have the listings that I have that I follow are Rally Roots and Gemini Thrifts have a lot of listings. Gemini Thrifts has probably double what I have. Um, and she does a lot of glassware and stuff, which I don't do, but I do Linux jewel collection stuff when I find it. Um, but I try not to ship a lot of glass. It just, you know, I mean, I, I will do it, but I hate doing it. Um, eBay. Can you see what shirt? The rest, the wrestling, the, the pump one. Sure you can. That's what we're here for. Okay, that's the front. And this is the back. And then it's on a uh, all-style tag. So, again, I always look for tags. I don't buy any of the screen-printed stuff. Once in a great while. It sold for 99 bucks. If I have only found one shirt in that Goodwill that sold for big money, and it was a Brooks and Dunn concert shirt with lightning bolts all over it. And that's the only reason it caught my attention. It was single stitch, and I think I sold it for close to $100. And then I found in the other store, the Mustang uh, Goodwill, I found a uh, Terminator T-shirt I sold for about $95, and I've got a Chucky, uh, like Child's Play that I've got on eBay for about a hundred and a half. And those are, those are vintage, but uh, there you go. I guess I did the same one and done it like 12, four started to save money. And I figured out should be cubic feet. Oh, okay. He's talking about um, man. Mount links talking about pirate ship again on the cubic feet. And I know all about cubic feet because I, I was in the freight business with pallets. So I do know about that, um, but I don't ship pallets by any means and I don't buy them and I don't buy storage units. I like going and, and uh, buying people from people that clean them out um, because they're looking for other things like money and jewelry and big ticket items. And I've bought salvage jeans from cleanouts that were vintage still with the tags and sold them for over $300, paid 10 bucks for them. So it's all about, everything's about comping. I mean, you don't have to have the most knowledge and I run into people all the time and I'm talking about getting into reselling and, and I ask them, you know, well, they say, well, I just don't know what, what I, how to, you know, what I would find, how, how to price stuff. You got to comp it. I mean, I don't know everything. No picker knows everything about everything. Some know more about tools. Some know more about video games. Some know about jerseys. I mean, they all art, whatever, you know, all have our expertise and things that we know and started with. I started with jerseys and helmets and, um, uh, and now I do a little bit of everything. The Mary Kay, I would have never picked up Mary Kay before. Now I look for it because I know how much money's in it. So you have to comp and just, if you see something and you think it's something that may have value, look it up, see what it's sold for, not what it's listed for. And then if the cost of goods are good and low, buy it and flip it. And that's what I do. Toys. Yes, toys. I do toys too. And um, I mean, I've, I've bought, Power Ranger stuff. I didn't even know it was Power Ranger stuff. Again, I'm a 70s teenager. We didn't have that kind of stuff. We didn't have cell phones. We didn't have video games. We played outside. And the and the and the we played, we hit the screen door. Mom said, You're letting the flies out. You know. And then you played until lunch. You came in, you went back out and played till dinner, and then you went back out and played till dark. And you played in the dirt. And you played cowboys and Indians and you played with Hot Wheels and you we didn't have video games. And so that's what we did. So I don't know a lot about Power Rangers and Pokemon. And and I do have a chance possibly this weekend to pick up some Pokemon from 98. A uh, lady I know has a bunch of it. And I tried to buy some from her today, but she wants to put it all together. And this lady's in her 90s and she's had it for a long time. And I know nothing about Pokemon other than what it is. And I know that some of the older stuff's going to have value and I'm going to try to check it out and work a deal. And if I can work a deal, maybe I'll get lucky with some of it, but it's not graded or minute, you know, 
uh, cards. But again, it's one of those things that you buy and you go, man, it just takes so much time to go through each card and figure out if it's valuable. And that's the part that I get in trouble with. Instead of buying a t-shirt and flipping it, I go out and buy bundle deals or video games or bundle deals of Hot Wheels. And then I have to go through them one at a time and look them up. And I do, you can make money, but yeah, barcodes, barcodes are the way to go. You're right. But I'm telling you the Google picture thing on your phone. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, forget eBay's pictures. Go to the Google, and I'm going to see if you can see this. You may not be able to because it's lit up, but it's um, it's got the in the search bar just like uh, eBay does. It's got a little camera thing next to the microphone, but go to Google and, and uh, on your phone and hit that and take a picture of the item, and I promise you, most of the time, it's going to come up and give you a lot of options. So check that out if you have it because it, it, I've just started using it, and I love it. Because as you know, eBay, you take a picture of something and you take a picture of a T-shirt and it's going to come up with a horse. It's, you just never know. So um, price guide apps on Pokemon. Okay. Yeah, and I, uh, I heard somebody talking the other day um, uh, and he talked about uh, price guides on video games too. And I need to probably look at that even though I just comp them and look at what they sell for. Um. Well, they, no, these are um, these are from 1998, and this lady's 90 something years old, and she's had them probably since 1998. Now they're not sealed or anything, the ones I've seen so far, but you can tell they're not they're not fake. This lady's, like I said, she uh, she's kind of a hoarder, and she used to be my neighbor when I rented uh, down the street from her, and I bought a lot of stuff. So I don't know a lot about them. I know that I did comp a couple of the cards while I was there. And some of them are like four or five dollars, but there was one that looked like it goes for over two hundred. But again, like cards, it's all about condition. So you gotta you gotta pay attention to that. And none of these are graded or in sleeves or anything, um, you know, uh, that kind of stuff. So it's just uh, it's a crapshoot, and sometimes you gotta take chances. And you buy five hundred cards, and you might find three or four that are worth three hundred dollars. And the rest are worth three or four dollars. And those I bundle up and get rid of. And the big money ones I'll pull out and sell. And that's how you do it on MTV. Um, anybody else? Victoria? Uh, anyone else got a, any comments or uh, questions or things that you can help me with or I can help you with? Victoria, how are you growing your channel? Are you just doing lives and I mean, are you putting it on other platforms? Because I share my intro video on TikTok because JT is my guy and I show the, the opening part of my video with JT on TikTok. And I get more views on TikTok of Mr. JT's intro than I do on YouTube. Uh, but you only have 60 seconds. And then on Instagram, I post the intro as well some days, but I don't get a lot of response from that. Um, and that's the only two things I kind of do on. I mean, other than YouTube, I love YouTube, but um, I wish it wasn't as hard to get 4,000 hours and thousand subscribers, but that is what it is. So, um, Oakley's and Pokemon's I've sold some Oakley's, um, but I have never sold Pokemon's. Um, I think I have a few cards, but they're not vintage. So 98, I would consider vintage. And like I said, I've got to go through them, but I've got to work out a, a good enough deal that, you know, uh, again, she's in her 90s, so I've got to get her to – and she's pretty pretty ornery, so I tried to get her to let go of the two tens that she had today, and she wasn't going to do it. So, um, I, And she knows me, and she's like, no, i got to get them all together before I, before I do that. So we'll see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, man, Mel, i got to ask you a question. Be honest with me. Was that straight moonshine, or did you actually get that from that hole – down there where the train derail because i'm telling you when i took a sip of that there ain't no water in that aquifer that's all moonshine that I, and i've never drank moonshine and i'm not a big drinker but man that about knocked me out and if y'all hadn't seen that video go back about three or four videos and watch me unboxing some shine that i was sent um you mainly do lives do a morning show every monday through friday this is giving me over double the hours I need. I just need to work on getting subs. Okay. Well, I did sub. And y'all check out Adventures with Victoria on YouTube. 
And um, I, I was left, uh, Victoria, I was listing a video every single morning, seven days a week. And about a week and a half ago, I kind of got frustrated with it and said, you know what? I'm going to quit doing this every day. I'm going to go to every two or three days. I skipped one day <laughs> and then I put out a video. I think I've only missed two days since then. I've been doing videos every day. And if I have a slow sale day now, I'm not going to do a video. I just love creating. I love JT and our interaction back and forth. I mean, he's kind of like Wilson and, and, uh, and Tom Hanks and Castaway. He talks to a ball and I talk to JT and JT talks to me. And believe me, that's not me talking. That's just whatever comes from our head. We don't practice. I can think of a song in about 10 seconds and just start coming up with it. And some of them you can tell are that way too, because they're not that good. But today we're doing the Tina Turner thing. So um, we just come up with stuff and my mind works in a mysterious way. That's why I have an alien in the background. But yeah, yeah, I'm crazy. That's, that's right. And uh, anyway, and MML, if you watch Man Mountain Link's channel, um, <laughs> yeah, you never know what he's going to say either. And, and, uh, and he plays music. So I'm sure he has a lot of copyright, uh, claims on him. Two to three videos, not reselling craft hacks. Really? How come you're getting away from reselling because of the growth or yes, that is out behind me. Yes. And I have not done anything with him. I also have, um, Teddy Ruck's been over here somewhere, and I haven't done anything. No, he's in the garage. I haven't done anything with him yet either. I actually, when I showed my video, when I found Teddy Ruxpin at a yard sale, somebody that's got a Teddy Ruxpin site contacted me and did not want me to sell Teddy Ruxpin. And I was like, what? Yeah, people abuse those, and they do bad things to them, kind of like the pit bull fighting. And I was like, really? I've never heard of Teddy Ruxpin being abused. And... uh but I haven't listed him and sold him either. So maybe in the back of my mind, I'm like, I don't want Teddy Rexman to get hurt. But Alf back there, um, of course, I had watched that when I was younger. But, um, yeah, I like the old Alf. I mean, he uh, he ate cats, though. So, you know, I don't know. Mad Matt Link wouldn't like him. Uh, that is Alf. Oh, yeah, that's Alf back there. He's looking for cats. He's looking for Bob the Cat. And, uh. Bob would probably hurt Alf, so that's why he is what he is. Least favorite alien ever. <laughs> so you probably liked Robin Williams more, right? Nanu Nanu, Shazbot, and all that stuff. Um, that's giving away my age. Of course, y'all know how old I am. 61. So, Victoria, you're not or are you uh is it because you don't want to resell or have your channel on reselling because it's not growing enough or or there's too many resellers on YouTube or um, and it says you're going to do crafting. I understand crafting. What's hacks? Not hacking computers. What, what, I don't understand the hacking things. Um, and most of you that are following this channel have been with me for a long time, and I appreciate that. Um, some new people in here like Victoria and, and uh, I... Uh, are new, so I don't know a lot about you, and y'all don't know a lot about me, but you can go back and watch some of my videos. Stay away from Under the Weather Cap Guy. I don't know why that thing pops up on my feed. It's back before JT, and I was not feeling good that day, and it was a long time ago, but for some reason that video pops up all the time, and it's not a good portrayal of me. Um, oh, okay, okay. Kind of like last night. We had a lot of fun last night. I really enjoyed that. And they do a video every week, I think on is it Wednesday, every Wednesday, Victoria, correct me if I'm wrong, or Thursday, I mean, and um, they do a little trivia thing and spin the wheel and and uh, not a tank treasures and uh, and they uh, give away prizes. Of course, I would have taken the little light things, too, and I didn't send a message because I don't need it that bad. I got enough stuff. Um Life hacks. Okay. All right. All right. A live auction. I've never done a live auction. I've never done a live auction. Um, Justin Elliott, Elliott's estate sales here in Oklahoma. He, he does uh, estate sales and he also goes to the bins and sells stuff at, at a, a, a flea market. And he does, he was doing live auctions there for a while. Um, 
Okay. Every Thursday. Okay. All right. And I was doing lives for two or three weeks, just on Wednesday night at seven, trying not to confuse, you know, conflict with anybody else that was doing them that watches my channel. But, um, I just, uh, I, I quit. I didn't have a lot of people like I don't now. I got eight people in here. I think I've had maybe 12 or 13 at the most. Um, a lot of work. Okay. All right. Yeah. I don't need more work. I work hard enough. Um, making a video and listing and listing and listing is hard enough. Um, I don't even know how many sales I got today. Hey, uh, have fun at the beach there, dig it, and good luck. Uh, I'll watch your video when you put it out. Y'all check out Dig It Mark Metal Detecting. Uh, if you like metal detecting, like I said, I love of course I love the accent, and I'm British by genealogy, but he uh they uh they have him and in, in uh, Digger Dan Tyson Fury, they have a lot of fun and find a lot of really old stuff. That's what's cool and it, it's history, it's kind of cool. I sold um I've got about five or six sales so far today. And uh, <laughs> and MML, I went to your uh, eBay site the other day. I follow a lot of eBay resellers. I follow Shed Flips, Commonwealth, Cincinnati. And all the sales have been slow. Gemini's had a decent time. Part-time pickers has had decent sales lately. But a lot of them have been set slow, too. And um, and you're, you didn't, I didn't even see anything listed on your eBay site. Uh, you don't have any listings up right now? Good night, dig it. Appreciate you. See you at the next. If y'all watch their channel, they do that every time they go from when they find something and they find a coin and they tell you what it is. And then they do this. See you at the next. So I do it sometimes in my videos and it's just a habit that's kind of been created. MML, Man Mountain Link, keeps me straight on. There you go. Play with my hat. All the things that I do, saying the word comp. Um, he likes to mess with me. We have that kind of relationship and uh, we kind of pick on each other and I pick on him as well. But uh, we, uh, we have good time and don't, we're trying not to offend anyone because in the world we're in now, you can't offend anybody. So, Hey, and I, and I, by the way, Victoria, I've done parodies on uh, Lonnie in one of my videos. I did one on froggy flips and I did one on Kevin Commonwealth picker. And um, I think Lonnie's came out the funniest. But you might want to go back and look at those. And I'm just having fun with it. I'm not trying to poke fun at them. We're just having fun. It's more of a comedy thing than anything. But you got to be able to laugh at yourself. And I can definitely laugh at myself. So if not, JT can. Ready, steady sales. Hey, how you doing? You got two today. Okay, good for you. Good for you. And Ready Steady Sales is in Alabama with a banjo on her knee. I think I'm right in that. Am I not correct? Or was that? No, she was in Alabama for um, at the beach or something, I think. Is that what it was? Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm trying to remember where everybody's from. I know where MML's from. I know where Journey's from. Um, Good night, Victoria. It was cool hearing about you and your channel. There you go. See, Victoria, you're going to get another. Uh, uh, oh, Victoria's not leaving. Dig it, did. Um, Y'all check out Victoria. Um, Adventures with Victoria. Non-attained treasures. Drifter thrifters. Man Mountain Link. Uh, who else on here has a channel? Um, ready, steady, sales. I don't think you don't think you have a channel, do you? Uh, hopped out. I topped out in October. I'm on disability and limited. In, uh, Oh, on money. Okay. For the 20,000. Um, that's what I tried to do last year. And I, and I thought I had done it. And then I found out that PayPal figured in and it put me over 20,000. So this year I just said, you know what, heck with it and go for it. And like I said, I'll probably hit, I, I'm guessing I'll hit about 80,000 E7 now. So who knows? Who knows? Not much of a talker. Well, as y'all can tell, I probably talk too much. Y'all y'all don't have to comment on that. I know MML might, but um, I talk a lot, but I love teaching. And again, I was in sales for a long time and you have to close the sale at UPS. Got to close the sale. It ain't nothing just to go talk to them about our, 
our advantages over everybody else, our technology and service and all that kind of stuff. But you got to close the deal and you're graded on that. So there you go. But hey, it was a good company and I like drawing that pension every month for the rest of my life. So um, that's the difference between me and a lot of resellers, uh, fortunately for me, that I don't have to depend on the income. Um, and I got out of debt except for my house uh, before I retire or when I retired. So I'm, I don't have to worry about that either. So um, can live on a lot less, but uh, I like to spend. I like to spend. No car payments, none of that good stuff, though. Oh, good. I appreciate it. Now you just need to comment more. Since you don't talk much, you can comment. Just comment or hit like or whatever. Um, and I appreciate I really do. I can't tell y'all how much, how much I appreciate everybody. I say it all the time. I know it probably sounds corny, but I do appreciate it. Uh, there's times I've thought about um, stopping the channel just because of the lack of growth. But then I get the comments from people that watch this channel and and uh, really have learned some things. And I've learned from all of you as well. And and that uh, and they love watching and I appreciate it. I'm not everybody's cup of tea. And most of the people when I look at the analytics, uh, most of the people watch my channel are in my age range, 55 to 64. Although I've noticed that 35 up to 64 is pretty much the range now. Uh, 70 something percent of the people that watch my channel are women, which, Hey, I'm all right with that. And, um, that's a good thing too. And it's probably cause JT, cause he looks like, uh, Elvis and I look like Channing Tatum. So yeah. Don't you see it? Or fat Tom Selleck or I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to think anyway, it is what it is. Yeah, radio and love talking. Yeah, except that a lot of our stuff wasn't talking. Um, MML, it was uh, teletype back in the day. And, of course, Morse code and all that stuff. I never learned Morse code, but we didn't have to uh, in the in the Navy. I served on a cruiser out of Charleston, South Carolina, and an aircraft carrier out of San Diego. And I've been around the world um, in four years. Yes. And thank you. Ladies love the cat guy. Yeah. Well, I, I hope so. I hope so, because I love the ladies. And uh, uh, and I like MML, but yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah, that's it for that. Anyway, um, yeah, I appreciate y'all being here. And I again, this wasn't planned. I like just doing things on the spur of the moment. And um, there you go. Oh, that's an MML thing. And don't forget Drift for Thrifters. Check him out. He's not in the room, but some of y'all I know Journey watches uh, MML and uh, Drift for Thrifters channel as well. And I don't know who else you watch. Uh, Kiwi Dog, hello. Kiwi Dog, where are you located in the United States? And are you subscribed to my channel? If not, please hit that subscribe. Um, What, um, I guess what I was going to say, uh, Victoria, what other resellers do you watch? Do you watch other resellers since you're new to my channel and ready, steady sales? Who do you watch besides the cat guy? Um, I don't know who all watches my channel, um, uh, and watches others. I'm talking to Nate. He's texting me. Um, I keep waiting or wanting you to end your videos, but there you go. Oh, instead of Cap Guy and JT out? All right. You know what? You want it, you got it. Um, oh, Jen. Is that Ogden, like Utah? Or Oregon? Origin. Huh? I'm lost on that one. I know my world geography. I've been all over it, but I don't know that one. <laughs> telegraph had to keep the wires from getting wet hey kiwi dog i'm telling nate that i'm talking about him on my live so y'all make sure that you uh check him out and if you're not subscribed to him uh check him out and they go on little adventures and i'm amazed i've been to australia i went to perth in 1982 on the uss constellation and took leave and me and a buddy of mine from illinois and we uh we hung out and pretended we were civilians for a week and those pelicans drive on the left side of the road. So that was a little scary, but 
Um, it's kind of cool. I mean, been to Africa, been to Singapore, Philippines, Hawaii multiple times. Uh, and that's my vacation spot when I go. I love Maui. And um, been to Europe and the Caribbean through the canal, Panama Canal. Been all over the world in four years. So I definitely got to see the world. Join the Navy. It's an adventure. And I served under Carter and Reagan. And Reagan actually came to my ship in 1981. And uh, that's another story. And I've told it several times. So uh, he's in Toowoomba, Nate is, and he's garage selling. And he's been to six garage sales. So we'll be seeing that. And maybe he cleaned a chicken coop, according to MML. I don't know if that's true or not. You can't never believe. When you're watching MML, you don't know if he's telling the truth or not. I worry about him sometimes. Um, and again, if you hadn't watched him, watch him. Kiwi Dog, check out Man Mountain Link. You'll definitely enjoy those videos. And they're not reselling videos. He talks about coins and other things. But, uh, you know, I lived in uh, Journey. I lived in Oswego, New York, right on Lake Ontario in the winter, which is the wrong time to live in upstate New York. And my wife at that time was from Albany, and I lived there for a while. And this Texas boy didn't belong way up north, but I never went to Canada. And I regret that, but I never went up there. And it wasn't that far away, but I just never took the time. And then the company I worked for closed. We moved back down here. So, and then, of course, she's been gone a long time. <laughs> uh, and I ended up, I was living in Arizona. My wife left and I raised three daughters by myself. And I wouldn't change it for the world because of all things I am. I am a daddy first. And I love my kids. And they all live near me. Their mother lives in another state. And they still have contact. But, uh. I, um, I have five grandkids and one on the way and all of them will have a boy and a girl when they're all done. So there you go. There you go. But I'm a daddy above everything else. And I do anything for my kids because when I die, the one thing I want out of this life is that my kids look at me and say, that man was always there for me. And if they do that, my life's been worth everything, everything. So can't say that enough. You know, you, you can be gone tomorrow, folks, and you just got to you got to stay with family through this political turmoil. I've got family that got ugly with each other, including brothers who my brothers and I never fought. I have three younger brothers. We never fought hardly ever growing up. We were separated a lot. And I'm here to tell you that this political thing has driven a, a division. And I'm one of these people that doesn't talk about politics or anything else, religion or anything on social media. Yeah, Facebook or anything else, because I care more about my family than I do things I can't change and opinions I can't change. Uh, all I can say is be humble. Think about what you say before you say it and try to be as good to everybody as you can. And as corny as that may sound, it's true. Um, blood is thicker than water. And you've heard that a million times from other people. But I believe that with my heart and my soul. And you just got to try to get past all that. It, it's just a, a turmoil time, a tumultuous time, I should say. Commonwealth franchise kicks, bargain hunt, thrift, collar, and resale. I watch Lonnie uh, shed flips, garage flips. I watch uh, Cincinnati Picker occasionally, Rally Roots occasionally. I uh, don't watch Matt anymore, uh, part-time pickers. Um I don't watch Harry Tornado much, and I know he's grown his channel by leaps and bounds. Um, and I won't get into all of the reasons why I don't, but I check out new channels. And um, there's a guy, and I'm going to look him up for y'all. He has nothing to do with eBay reselling, but I fell in love with him. And if those of you who don't know me, I'm a music fanatic. I love music, especially mid-80s and backwards. And... And uh, this guy that I, st I stumbled upon him because I was listening to Pearl Call Harem or something, Wider Shade of Pale. And I love the 60s and 70s and 80s music. And uh, one of the songs I was listening to, I don't know if it was by one of those bands, but he puts out a video and his name is Jamel, a.k.a. Jamal. And it's J-A-M-E-L underscore a.k.a. underscore J-A-M-A-L. Now, J-A-M-E-L underscore A-K-A underscore J-A-M-A-L. 
And all he does, this guy has 150,000 subscribers, 160,000. And what he does, he does previews or reactions to, to music videos. And he plays Bread and Bob Dylan and uh, the Carpenters and, and a lot of the old music that I listen to. And so I lived through that era of music. He did not. He's like, uh, he's in his 40s, I think, or around 40. And some of the music he's heard before, but he doesn't know who it is. He's never seen him in video or anything. And he's, uh, he lives in California and he'll play it and then he'll make videos and, and, and he'll stop the video sometimes in the wrong spot. You're doing tears for fears or some shout or something. And then, but it's his reaction. I love watching his reaction that I end up singing to the videos, of course, but his reaction to the music, not only because he's surprised by what they look like or what they sound like or the music sound. It's just cool. It's cool. And I fell in love with the guys uh, just watching it because it's, it's like a little kid learning something that I already am familiar with and the love I have for the old music versus the new music. Um, it's just kind of cool, but you might check him out and I, and I'm no plug for that. Cause he don't even respond to my stuff, but anyway, demo cats, get it. Demo cats. Oh, Democrats. Okay, I got you. Well, I'm not going to get into politics and who I voted for because I am registered independent, so I vote for whoever I think is going to do the most for all of us, not just one or two of us. So I'm not going to get into all that. But um, like I said, it's divided my family, and that's that's hard for me because I care more about my family than than politicians that don't care about us. And let's be honest, most of them don't care about the common people. So it is what it is. Um, that's the most I'm going to say about that, but slot machines, eating stale food and playing rigged slot machines out in international waters. Never got to do that. Never got to do that. Um, only casino I ever saw when I was in the Navy was in Nice, France. And I don't even think it was open at the time we were there. Um, but, uh, Nice is near Monte Carlo and we were in Villa Franche at Christmas time. Four years in the Navy, I never was home for Christmas. I was always either at sea or overseas, it seemed like. So, yeah, that's what you get when you go in the military. You have to understand that. But uh, we did get the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders one year in the Indian Ocean. That was pretty cool. And they were in the playoffs that year against Tampa Bay. So, I remember that. I think it was 1980 or 81, something like that. Anyway. <laughs> what else y'all want to know? Anything? Anything? Been on here for over an hour. Hey, it's only 5.45. I got I got to get stuff done. I had to give up Matt for cat guy porn mustache. Though. <laughs> All right, good day, mate. Hey, there you go. There you go. Y'all check out Drifter Thrifters. My buddy gave me a shout out the other day on uh, Emily Conway's channel. Check him out. I've talked about him several times tonight already. Those of you that are new to the channel, please check him out. He's on the road in Toowoomba. And I can't say it with the accent that he does, but I also don't eat pies with stuff in them. I eat just the food that's in them. There you go. Good day. Good day, mate. I hope he's buying some good stuff. You finding some good stuff, those yard sales? Nate? And for the other don't know, it's, uh, what is it? What time is it over there, Nate? It's about what? 10 o'clock, something like that, 9 o'clock in the morning. So he should be out running. Uh, what started me on eBay? Um, I, I started buying on eBay when I was living in Arizona. I didn't start really selling until probably I moved here. And it was just a few things. It was jerseys. And I just realized I could make, you know, I wasn't making a lot of money back then. Maybe if I was lucky, $50 a week, hundred bucks. And then I got uh 950. Got to go. All right. Go find some good stuff. Um, so I did it part time and in a good month, I might make a thousand dollars in a month um, while I was still working, but you got to remember I was full-time sales and I did the last two or three years I was in sales. 
during lunchtime, I knew where all the thrift stores were. So I would swing in there on my lunch hour or whatever I took because I was in sales. If I didn't have a customer lunch, I would go in there and look around and, and, uh, but I still didn't make a lot of money. And then I didn't even make it when I retired. Um, again, I didn't need to work, but I thought, you know what, you can sit in this chair and get old and fatter and fatter and die, or you can get out there and get busy. Went on keto and next thing I know, I had energy and I started doing it full time and, and now I'm just blowing and going, but um making good money. I mean, I do about 300 sales a month or it was, and um, I'd say about seven, eight, 9,000 a month, 8,000 a month in sales. So probably 5,000 or so in profit, but nah, and now it ain't, it's slowed down here lately, but hopefully it'll get better after the vaccine. Yeah. I hope the vaccine gets, uh, gets here soon and we can get vaccinated and get back to a normal life. If that's, if that's what you call it. And, uh, the only one that has a normal life in here probably is, uh, is journey. <laughs> And uh, I don't know about Victoria. I don't know her well enough. Lori. Lori doesn't do eBay. I knew Lori growing up in Texas, for those of you who don't know that. And um, what else? Keep her in mind for sure. Keep who in mind? You want to go to the village tavel? Oh, in France. Okay, there you go. You know, they weren't real friendly to us when I was there in 79, 80. Um, they didn't want to speak English, and of course, it's their country, so they don't have to, but they weren't real friendly. The friendliest country in Europe that I went to of Greece, Italy, Spain, uh, Sicily, and all those places was, uh, and Monaco was uh, was Spain. Spain was, they were friendly. Um, oh, Okay. Man Mount Lake's talking to Journey. You know what? You can start your own Doc God Live video there on my mouth. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. And you never did answer my question. Is that full moonshine or is that really from that pond or that gazebo thing? Because it sure tasted like, you know, I've never tasted moonshine before, but that was strong. That was strong. So I got to know, did you really send me full shine or did you send me watered down shine? Because if, if that's not watered down, I don't want to taste the real shine. <laughs> I just got through watching uh, White Lightning the other night and Gator, oh, uh, Burt Reynolds, and and they were hauling shine, and then they were talking. They were drinking it like it was nothing. I was like, yeah, I don't know. You guys are bigger men than I am. So not a big drinker. Not a big drinker. Hey, is silence golden, y'all? Because it's gotten golden in here. And Journey and MML are carrying on a conversation. So, yeah, that's what started me on eBay. Uh, just a little bit of money here and there. And, again, I made good money at UPS because I was always on the management side. Not that the drivers don't make good money because they do. And uh, But we weren't union. We got salaries. But And I had a company car because I was sales. So I had a free company car, and I got one a new one every three years. So um, that was a definite benefit for me. And when I retired, I had to go out and buy a used pickup and a used car and paid cash and there you go i don't want to buy ever have payments again listing well good somebody should be working right now ready uh steady sales yeah, i'm glad you're listing because i haven't listed anything today i'm going to do a few tonight i did 19 yesterday and 16 the day before but i have not been consistent with listing and part of it maybe because of the depression of sales not being as good but you got to keep that algorithm going, they say. So I guess you do. And um, it seems like the stuff that I list is the stuff that sells quicker. So um, maybe that comment that somebody made about uh, ending your listings and or, uh, Rally Root said that, said uh, end your listings and relist them. Uh, I definitely didn't send untaxed liquor in through the post. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. And I would never report you because nobody knows you as Man Mountain Lake. They just know you. Well, I'm not going to say your real name on here. That would really would get you in trouble. But I'm not going to say that because I know it. So maybe you need to send me some bullion so I don't send your real name on here. I'm kidding. I'm kidding again. I'm kidding again. 
So there you go. You hit a digger estate sale today. A digger estate sale? What's a digger estate sale? I'm not familiar with that term. Is that somebody that digs in the dirt? A digger estate sale. Do y'all know what a digger estate sale is? I don't. I'm old, but I don't know everything. I did post my HP on Instagram. I don't normally post what I sell on there. I just... Um, I'm going to ask you what your favorite adult and non-adult beverage is. Mine is... Um, oh, bottles and such. Okay. All right. I don't know a lot about those. I mean, I know about vintage pop bottles and things, but not enough to be dangerous with it. Um, it was always Coca-Cola, I would say, and Dr. Pepper. Um, right now, I drink Diet Dr. Pepper. Water and Gatorade, I guess, are my main. But I'd say Diet Dr. Pepper is my daily beverage. Of, And then as far as alcohol goes, um, I like Corona with lime. I like a Bud Light, but I don't, I mean, I've got a six pack in my fridge. It's probably been in there eight months and I probably have three of them left. So I just don't drink much. And then um, for alcohol, a good mixed drink, uh, but it's got to have a lot of more Coke than whiskey, like Jack Daniels or bourbon or even a screwdriver, vodka and orange juice. Um, I like Bailey's Irish cream to sip on in the wintertime by a fireplace. But again, I'm just not a big drinker, and I have a I, I have vodka and stuff in my house. I hadn't opened in three or four years. Never been open. I just buy it. I had a bar and a neon light with Mr. George Strait, my favorite country singer, and uh, my two two of my daughters are bartenders by trade, um, and or have been, and uh, one still is. And so when they'd come over, I'd say, "Hey, y'all can make drinks," but we never, we're not big drinkers and drivers. So, and they're not all big drinkers either. Matter of fact, I don't think any of my kids drink uh, much alcohol. So, here we go. Save little bottles. Why was I confuzzled? Oh, okay. Where are you digging tubs? Did you find some good stuff? Yeah. Well, did you find any good stuff, Sandy? Or, Uh, Nate sent me a video, but I can't look at it while I'm, uh, what's 40 plus years there, Laurie? I missed that comment. Oh, 40 plus years we've been friends. Yeah, that's true. Wait a minute. How could that be? I'm only 29. Oh. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, uh, Lori and I grew up, uh, we were trailer park kids. We grew up in Central Texas in trailer parks across from Air Force Base. So I knew her family and she knew mine. And uh, she stayed and I left. <laughs> yeah, I am crazy. I am crazy. Crazy. And my mind, I got a warped sense of humor. So y'all you know, probably can tell that in my videos besides like the talk. But oh, yeah. So I'm going to ask you, Ready Steady Sales, what's your best digger find in uh, bottles and stuff? What have you found that's worth a lot of money? A bank book full of barber dimes. I got a lot of silver coins, MML. Uh, Morgan dollars, peace dollars, all the wheat pennies except for the most rare one. I do have a 1909, but not a VDB. And I do have a lot of silver and quarters and half dollars and a few like Stone Mountain that are valuable and a Texas Centennial, uh, 1936 half dollars worth of money, but I'm more about the history than the, than the content of the coin value is melt value. I'd rather have the history of the coin. When you've got an 1881 Morgan dollar in your hand and you think of all the hands that's passed through to me, that's more valuable than 20 something dollars that that thing can get you by melting down. So I think differently about coins, but I do have a bunch of them and I got coins from every part of the world that I've been to when I was in. Yeah, it does. It does. It does. My mom raised 
two boys and then later four boys because my stepdad had two of us for a long time by herself. My mom was a union meat wrapper for Safeway and we didn't have a lot, but my mama made sure we had a head over or a roof over our head. We had food in our stomach and we stayed out of trouble and none of my brothers ever went to jail or prison and three of us served our country and one of us has a master's degree, my youngest brother and is a training manager for the city of Round Rock, Texas. And, um, also sang in a band, heavy metal band for years in Austin and all over Texas. And, um, there you go. So yeah, we, my mom kept us all. My mom was a very clean housewoman. I mean, she moved the furniture all around and we were big roller skaters back when I was a kid and I roller skated forever, every three or four times a week. We, even the Navy, I took skates and skated. Some of the guys were skaters too. We skated wherever we went kind of corny, but you know what? That's what we did. And I was 18 and 77 when disco came out, John Travolta walked down Saturday night fever and I love disco and I love to dance, love to dance. And, uh, I love the old music, but anyway, yeah, my mom, uh, when she passes, that will be very hard for me. Very hard for me. Cause she was always there for us. And I had to take her to the doctor today. She was washing, She's 78. She's washing her dog and she had some towels down and she slipped and fell and hit something on her side. And, and so I had to take her to the emergency clinic today. She doesn't have any fractured or broken ribs, but she's very sore. And because she's a cougher, she coughs a lot and it hurts. So they gave her some high powered acetaminophen and I took her home, but I keep telling her mom, you got to quit, quit doing this stuff. You're going to end up, breaking a hip or something and then it's not going to be good. So, but you know, they don't listen. They're older and wiser, I guess, than we are, or maybe not. I'm at that point in my life where I start telling her, yes, journey. You're right. I used to live in Round Rock, Texas, and I live near Lone Star Donut. I know what you, what you're talking about. They have yellow meat donuts and they have huge donuts. And on weekends, you can't even hardly get near that place. There's such a long line. It's right off I-35. And um, Lone Star Donuts, I've been there several times. My oldest daughter, we lived there when my oldest daughter was born in 86. And yes, Lone Star Donuts is famous, famous for their donuts. Thanks for knowing that. I love that trivia because I know about it too. And I didn't skate on the aircraft carrier. I skated off of it. And Krispy Kremes in Oklahoma City, we only have one left. And it's about 45 minutes from me, so I don't ever get them. And I haven't probably had a donut in a year and a half, but. COVID has definitely put my weight back on. I lost 60 pounds a year ago, and now I probably gained back 45 of it. So, yeah. Yeah. Not good. And I can tell it the older I get. Uh, you never went to prison? Well, you didn't grow up in Trotter Park either. Uh, in body and at heart. Well, there you go. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that journey. Um, how many items do you have listed, Journey? Do you do you have a lot of stuff on eBay, or do you sell on other platforms? And Ready Steady Sales, do you sell on just eBay or other platforms as well? And of course, there's a delay in the answer because they're east of me. I like MML. Hey, y'all are a little too close to MML. Y'all better watch out. Wow. Was it on keto or Atkins or something? Or, I mean, because when I was on keto, I was strict. No potatoes, no rice, none of that stuff. Just eBay. Okay. Just like me. I'm just eBay. I tried Poshmark, didn't like it. And I don't do Amazon or anything. I'll do Facebook Marketplace, but it's got to be a big item. Um, but, yeah, eBay is all I have, too. Good deal. I like eBay. I mean, I, I, there's a lot of things eBay could improve. Um, and the first one would be caring more about the seller. But, you know, what are you going to do? It's how we make our money. So uh, not much you can do about it.
And how about you, uh, Journey? You lost you lost two hundred ten pounds when you got rid of the X in the desert. I hope not. I lost a hundred, and then COVID testing. I lost a hundred, and COVID is testing me with keeping it all. Wow, that's awesome too. A hundred pounds, man. And I lost. I think I lost 60, 60, 62, something like that in a little over six months and went to Hawaii and felt great. And I'm still too chicken to get started selling. I tell myself, oh, you're just researching. Okay. Well, hey, I'm glad you're watching the channel, even though you're not a reseller, but hey, you're learning. I mean, the biggest thing about reselling isn't selling certain items. It's, it's just comping everything. Cost of goods low, comp it if it's got good profit in it buy it and then looking at the number of listings and solds and how much is available and knowing when to do an auction and not and some of that you just play with and you learn i mean i've lost very little on certain items and there's a couple i've lost pretty good money on but for the most part i've got stuff in my store has been there two years so and i don't i just don't take it off and throw it away or donate it i just let it stay there because eventually somebody's gonna buy it and right now with no fees on all that stuff if they ever go back to charging fees on all my listings, I'll, I'll probably have to reduce it. But, uh, yeah, eBay is pretty easy. So, like I said, there are some things I think uh, that they could improve. Um, one would be, like I said, the buyer. And with MML, you don't know MML story. He sold something and then got something back that wasn't what he sold them. And he had to go to the police station. And he's got a video out if you want to check it. Um and uh, he uh, he ended up getting his money back, but he had to go to the police station, file a police report, and then they declined it. And then he had to appeal through eBay, and he finally won his case and got his money. But, you know, I know people are going to try to scam you, um, and there you go. But, yeah, I, uh, I think they could improve definitely caring about buyers more and having an, it easier to get a hold of them, and, and especially if you're a big seller and you're, you're selling a lot of stuff to be able to, to work with us, um, making it easier, especially this new thing with required fixes, which I just did almost 800 of, I mean, it was a waste of time. Um, and, and I just done a couple hundred before on other stuff, uh, that I did believe was correct, but you know, we're trying to make money here and you got to be listing, right. Ready, steady sales. And, and not fixing stuff. And there was stuff that was generic. I mean, jeans are jeans. They're listed. People are finding them. Why do I got to go in and tell you it's jeans again? You know, it's, but anyway, when they come up with stuff, and I know the new CEOs from Walmart. So I know there's some things there, but um, I don't know. I don't know. But I do enjoy selling on it. And for the most part, but I do get frustrated from time to time with the way they do things. So, Hey, um, have fun. Tell your daughter hi. Hi. Yeah, I, I doubt she watches. But anyway. Well, I guess I probably ought to. Uh... Oh, there you go. Y'all, uh, again, check out all the channels. And um, check out Man Man Lane, Drifter Thrifters, uh, Victoria's. Um, and... Uh, Anybody else on here that I missed, I apologize. And uh, I'm going to get off here. It's been an hour and a half. Figure out what's for dinner. Am I going to have taquitos and bacani sauce again? Probably not a good thing, right, Journey? And um, But anyway, go make something quick and maybe do some listing or see what's on TV tonight. Let's see. What's on Friday night? Uh, I could watch reruns or recorded. Uh, what's that? Uh now, when blank, the Alaska show where they freeze to death up there and they show the different places. I like watching that. And um, I've been watching the undoing on HBO. That's pretty good. But I don't think there's a new episode on there right now. Um, typically, I'm, I'm flipping YouTube channels and checking those out. And then I get bored with that, do something else or watch an old movie. But anyway, y'all have a great night. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you as always. Y'all have a great night. And hopefully the cap guy will talk to you tomorrow. Or if not Sunday. And uh, I'm going to try to do some filming tomorrow. At the yard sale. And estate sale I'm going to. 
we'll see how it goes. Thank you, folks.